been in place for uh, some time. It's uh, uh, administered by the California Energy Commission um, and enforced by the building instructor, the building instructor, building inspectors uh, at the local level. Uh, so th this is uh, defines energy codes for commercial and, uh, and residential structures. Um, there is a change to the code taking effect in June of this year uh, that it has some uh, interesting implications for uh, auto DR and ultimately open ADR. So uh, it, it defines a, a requirement for uh, equipment to be able to receive a demand response signal and to affect demand response controls. Uh, this code change um, impacts every newly constructed building over 10,000 square feet and significant retrofits to a a building in, the, in that uh, same range. Um, all three California investor-owned utilities are uh, supporting Open ADR uh, as their primary uh, demand response standard for commercial um, customers. So, um, kind of by default, uh, the DR signal that will be sent to, to buildings will be Open ADR. Um, the code doesn't prescribe that the customer participate in a program, it's just that the equipment needs to have a DR, auto DR interface. So uh, we're seeing that in uh, energy management control systems, um, uh, HVAC systems with uh, DDCs and some level controls, uh, we need to be able to uh, shed uh, uh, demand within uh, at the zone level. Uh, and there are, uh, are some tools that are being developed by the California Energy Commission in order to validate that uh, systems can uh, comply with the code, and, and that uh, is the reason for the, the delay in enforcement of the code. It was supposed to take place on January 1st. Uh, this also impacts lighting controls. Uh, lighting control systems um, uh, must be able to reduce uh, uh, energy by 15% or better. Uh, there's also a validation tool that, that's, that's uh, being completed for this to verify that uh, lighting control systems can shed, uh, shed load. Um, and then finally, for smaller facilities, there's uh, a, a, uh, something called an occupant control smart thermostat, which I think we all call smart thermostats. These are thermostats with a communication interface. Uh, and so the, the code is a little bit more prescriptive. It says that it must be a standards-based messaging protocol, uh, including but not limited to smart energy profile, SEP, open ADR, or others defined in the Smart Grid Interoperability Panel, SGIP catalog of standards, uh, which, uh, by the way, both open ADR and uh, SEP2 uh, are now part of the catalog uh, as of last week. Um, or as defined by the occupant's information update service or demand response service provider. So uh, existing aggregators um, uh, can support those thermostats. Uh, because of this uh, code change, there are um, a significant number of companies that are in the process of implementing open ADR in uh, energy management systems, in lighting control systems, uh, and in thermostats. Uh, the open ADR interface in thermostats is, is actually not in the thermostat, it resides in the cloud. So uh, each uh, thermostat typically community is uh, supported by a cloud server. Open ADR treats that server as a, as a client. And then uh, when the message goes from the open ADR server to that server, that server is treated as a, a, a virtual end node and it repackages the information in a proprietary format and sends it to the thermostat. Uh, so the, the bottom line is that there's an interesting opportunity emerging in California. Um, open ADR is really the, the primary standard for commercial and industrial uh, auto DR programs in California. Um, it, again, it's backed by the three investor-owned utilities. Um, there is a push uh, within the California Energy Commission to try and get open ADR certification recognized uh, as a stamp for compliance with the code. Uh, that's probably going to be a lengthy process. Uh, and, and as I mentioned before, we're, we're seeing a wave of, of 
products, uh, building management systems, light controls, and, and thermostats making their way through the Open ADR test and certification program. Uh, so here are the, uh, the contacts in the, in the organization. Uh, my contact details, uh, Will, Shannon, and, and Rachel. We'll make sure that uh, everybody, uh, any, anybody that's interested in the slides, um, either send any of us an email or drop a, a business card off and we'll be glad to add you to the, the list for distribution of the presentation. And uh, I apologize for rushing through it. We, we only have an hour and I want to make sure we can take questions.